But it's pretty crazy if you think just a few years ago, before before uh, you know, I think before he left Strike Force, uh, even watching on Inside MMA, everybody was picking Alistair as the top three heavyweight guy. Everyone was saying you know it's him, Junior, Cormier, and now fast forward a few years, the outlook is very different. What do you think about Overeem's run in the UFC so far? Well, you know, it's um, he, 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 uh, like I said before. Listen, when I, when I talk about this, people are going to say right away, "Oh, he's a hater because he lo- uh, he left Golden Glory," and it's not. I always said this. Like when I said he had a glass jaw, people go like, "Oh, and he's just saying that." I said, "Look at his record, dude. Look at his record between 2005 and 2007. See, I think he has done that like five times, you know, and and uh, against guys. So you know, and he knows he has that also, but." They gave him this whole new fighting style there at Golden Glory at the uh, Meng Ho Gym with Core Hammers, which is single shots. One hand at the jaw, and with the other hand, you know, knock out. And, it's, and everything he can throw. If he throws the left hook to the head, right hand at the jaw. If he throws the right straight, left hand at the jaw. Livers up. Everything he throws is powerful. He's got no kinks in the cable and, and power in any strike. Everything is good with him. But, um, you know, it was, it, it was, well, we really know it now. You know, it, 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 you, he got caught with steroids. Then he got tested the next time he, 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 he couldn't use. And he lost. He had actually, uh, his testosterone, I heard, read on the internet. I'm just saying that because that means it doesn't have to be true, but it was out there in the news everywhere. He had a level of 160. So now Nevada says, well, that means your prior usage can't fight in Nevada anymore. You know, and I think that maybe did something to him mentally. You know, I, I, I don't know. His last fight, he fought uh, good again. I thought this last fight he did, uh, you know, he, he uh, used power, but not as much power against Mir. He was always very careful, you know, not to run out of gas. He went the full distance. He looked really good all the three rounds. You know, he doesn't throw as hard anymore, but he doesn't need to because he has that, that, that uh, uh, power. But coming back from that, from those uh, getting knocked out a couple of times, it's, it's a hard one for him, you know. And if he can't come back, this was just um, people were complaining when they, because he didn't finish me here. But you have to understand, if he gets knocked out three times, oh, you, you know, you, that does something to you mentally. You know, mm-hmm. so he was, a, he played a very smart game. He came in, he said, I'm going to win this fight, I'm going to get my confidence back, and then I'm going to go to the next fight. And then now this next fight, we'll, we're going to see what he's made of. You know, and, uh, but Barnett, I believe he lost his last match as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and Barnett, didn't he lose to me here? Uh, Barnett, um, Barnett beat me. He he knocked me around in the in the first. Oh, round. he knocked him out. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. It was the other way. So so that that that's you know now people are going to say wait a minute, but that knocked out Mir. Overeem didn't knock him out, but I don't think Overeem was really going for it. I think he played a smart game, played it safe. He knew his pink slip was going to come if he if if he would lose. Maybe the UFC would have said, hey, we don't need you anymore. You know, so every smart fighter would do the same thing. And uh, well, we're going to find out now. But then um, if, if but that gets it on the ground, that could be trouble for uh, Ophir. And Bas, uh, since leaving Golden Glory, Overeem's career has been on a little bit of a decline. Um, how is your relationship with Overeem at the moment? Have you guys, do you guys have any contact anymore? No, 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 no. And I, and I, I don't need to either. I don't, um, I don't want to have any info. But whether he doesn't, he doesn't either after everything I said, <laughs> you know. And uh, so, but I just said the truth. I just told the truth. Just what what it is. They can put me in a lie detector test, and they can ask me the same questions. I will never lie about a thing like that. You know, so uh, it's not it's not my style. And uh, no, separate ways. You know, before you know, we called once in a while, and if you would be here, you know, we would come visit the gym. But uh, no, no, that's over. 